Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net on Thursday the 20th of November. Thanks again for watching, this is your look ahead video. Now it's model mayhem out there just at the moment. Um, exactly what we'd expect to see actually with the threatened cooling event ahead. Um, I stress again that the risk of the cool event is still relatively low but the midnight GFS starting to try and pick up on something ECMWF is similar, but vast differences between uh, runs of the various different models. So this was the midnight run from the GFS. It's from weatheronline.co.uk, and it had got big anticyclones centred uh, across northwestern parts of Russia, and it had got uh, a chilly east to northeasterly wind across the UK. This was valid for Friday the 5th of December. So just compare that one to the solution that was then provided by the six o'clock run, which is that one, completely different. It still sees, look, the idea of an anticyclone across Russia, but it brings in low pressure up towards the north of the UK. Now, by no means is that a warm run. It's got a cold northwesterly wind coming in across the UK on the back of these lows. Notice high pressure there across Greenland and um, across the far northeast of Canada as well. So by no means was it a warm run, but it's got a completely different take on things to that one. Everything shifted a little bit further east. I say a completely different take, actually. I mean, if you look at the fundamentals with a high out here and a low out here, I guess there are some similarities there. It's just the placing of those two and where they're going to be. So what we can take from it is that there is this kind of sniff from the GFS of things turning colder. CFS not seeing it. Uh, CFS uh, latest run. This is uh, temperatures for Birmingham. Dates across the bottom here. And you notice, look, it does try and get us cooler into next week, but then lifts temperatures again early December before seeing this bigger fall off here for a few days early December and then a bigger fall off again towards the uh, latter part of the month. So what it tries to do is to get the cold in, get rid of it, get in again, get rid of it, and then we get a proper hit of cold according to the CFS at the end of the month. I still don't think this has got it yet. I think probably what we might see, and I, I do agree with the kind of idea of the mild trying to get briefly back in, I think what we might see is that kind of pattern evolving where it does drop cold um, through the early part of December. And I think our, our th risk is going up slightly now. We're getting to 30% plus uh, on the basis of today's runs. Um, ensemble looks like that. Uh, this is for London and dates again across the bottom here. And look, it sees this kind of fall off in temperature still, but um, still not seeing anything desperate coming through. But that's exactly what you expect from the ensemble because this is going to be a very hit and miss situation as to whether this thing actually develops and whether we do go into uh, a cooler spell. So some interesting charts to be watching over the next uh, few days. Do be aware that the media are going to pick up on this. Uh, you know, we cannot be far away from the uh, snowmageddon headlines. Uh, all I'd remind you is that uh, probably the same newspaper that will have those sort of headlines also advised us, advised us last winter of 100 days of snow. Um, and I know that the person who's uh, doing those uh, nonsense stories is uh, also watching the video here as well and will ignore me when I say, look, don't go running ahead with the idea that this is a cold snow forecast. It isn't. It's just that the risk of cold has increased. But it doesn't matter how much I say it, he'll ignore me anyway. Uh, now, um, I'll give you more information tomorrow. We've got the Japanese out later on today, so it'll be interesting to see how that sees things evolving. And as I've been saying to you all the way through, really, you know, we're not going to see, uh, I don't think, any real clear indication um, from the models, particularly until about seven days before the event. So we've got to give it another two or three days before we start to see uh, the hints of cool coming through. I, I'm, I'm not thinking this is a real severe cold outbreak. I think it's a deterioration in temperatures, which could lead to something uh, cold mid part of December. Uh, so I'll leave you with that for now, but don't forget, uh, and I'm sorry if you get fed up with these plugs, you can order uh, my Weatherwise DVD, ideal Christmas present. You can order that now from the website. You can see samples of the video on there as well. And I've got my Pocket Weather Forecaster book as well, which is all about clouds, and it explains about clouds and the weather that they foretell. It's a real coffee table book. So I've got both the DVD and I've got the book there. And all you do is go into uh, WeatherWeb, and then you just click in the top right-hand corner here. It says Books by Simon. Click on there and it will bring you up 
um, the uh, book ordering and DVD ordering on there. Still got uh, several of those in stock, so I've got enough at the moment um, to see us through the next few weeks. But of course, we'll be ordering more for Christmas as well. So I'll leave you with that for now. But thanks again for watching. Whatever you're doing, have a great day. Don't forget you can subscribe to us on YouTube to get the very latest uh, from us when we issue the videos. And of course, you can watch through weatherweb.net as well. So thanks for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.